Good morning, everyone. This is Ark Elwix, and I wanted to show you a quick little trick that I found in Workflowy that has really started to help me building some structures in it to make access to my information easier. So let's flip over to Workflowy and have a look. So to start, I've created a very basic structure here, just a couple of nodes. I have a daily journal section, and you'll notice right now that there isn't a lot in it because I haven't created any daily journals in it, but I did create a template. And a template, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, it's an option that you can turn on in Workflowy that allows you to take a node and make it immediately reproducible just by clicking on a button. So in this case, I'll say new daily journal entry, and I get a new node that says new daily journal. So by changing this, and I'm gonna change this to today's date, um, August 2nd, I now have a node that if I look inside of it, I have three more sub nodes as part of it, chores, health, and finances, just as examples. If I need to create another daily journal entry, click again, August 3rd tab, and let's do again for August 4th. One of the things I really like about, eh, we'll do an August 5th too, just because I feel like creating another one. I really like the template function because it's very simple and very straightforward. There isn't an option to go in and edit and monkey around with the templates. If you need to recreate it, you literally just take one, you generate a new one, kill off the original template button, make your modifications in the new one, and then turn the new one into a template. It's that easy. So now I have four daily entries. Now this is great. I can go through here and say, on Thursday, I need to take out the trash. So I can pop this one open. I can go to chores and I can say here, take out the trash. Now I'm gonna do two things right away. One is I'm gonna turn this into a to-do just so I remember it's a to-do item. And I'm going to assign the date to this particular item. You're probably gonna wonder, okay, well, why are you putting a date on it if it's already in Thursday's Daily Journal? Well, remember, Daily Journal is just a journal. It's not giving me a cross-reference to that particular item. And in this case, I wanna be able to find everything tied to a specific date. So we're gonna put in August 3rd, tab, done. So now I have a to-do item that's on August 3rd that says take out the trash. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's do another one for Friday and we're going to do a chore and we're going to say, bring around trash can. Oops, can't type today. Now, again, I'm gonna turn this into a to-do item on Windows that's Control Alt 9 if you're interested. And I'm going to add in Friday's date. Tab, done. Now, why is this nice? Why is this helpful? Well, let's add just a little bit more complexity to this. I'm gonna create a daily journal entry, but I'm gonna do it for August 15th, just to say I have something here. And in this particular one, we're gonna add a chore, which is take out recycling to make it a task and I'm going to assign it to the 15th just so I know that's the date that it has to be done it's a good practice so you're going to go okay fine that's great but where's this all leading to well if you've used the search capability within workflowy you know it has the ability to look up things for a date or a date range so I can say show me everything for this week and sure enough, I get my filtered match. I get six nodes that come back that all have dates that fall within this week. If I say next week, right now I get nothing for this. If I say this month, I get eight matching nodes because you'll see August 15th is also included in the mix. So how is this helpful? Well, what I'm going to do is say, <clears throat> excuse me, anything for this week and I'm going to use the is part of the search parameter, a to-do. And sure enough, here's all the to-do items I have for this week. That's kind of useful. 
This is where it gets really helpful though. You'll notice you have the option to add this to favorites to use the star function. And if you hit the star and you open the quick menu over here on the side, you'll see is this, this week is to do in home. And, and that works. But you may also notice that I'm not operating with that quick menu open all the time. I want an easier way to do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the URL that's up here with the filter applied and I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to home and under my quick reference section, I'm going to create things to do this week. Highlight all of it. Control K to turn it to start to turn it into a link. And then I'm going to paste in that URL. Apply it. And now all I have to do is click on that link. And I have everything that needs to be done this week. That's a to do. It's that simple. And by doing that now, I can start to build out these quick reference links and use them wherever I want within Workflowy. I can put, <clears throat> excuse me, I can put together basically dashboards within the system without using the dashboard layout to give me ways to get to narrowed sets of information that I would normally have to go through search and then add to favorites. I can create as many of them as I want without them cluttering up the favorite section. So this is just one of the ways that I think you can really start to put Workflowy to use. Uh, it's also one of the ways that you can go through and start to manipulate your own information without having to build a lot of complex structures and build a lot of complicated dashboards. Because remember, one of the premises of this is to simplify your workflow. And that's exactly what we're trying to do right here. So if you have any questions or thoughts or feedback, please drop me a line. Let me know. Uh, if you found this useful, uh, like, follow, and subscribe so I know that you found it useful and I can create more of these. And I hope to see you again next time. <music>